The recently felled logs are transported to the sawmill in a truck and are randomly stacked in the log yard. The logs are then placed on the infeed table before they go through the first scanner which will determine the suitability of the log, its orientation and if it needs a butt removed. The paddles will sort the logs. An operator will oversee the undertaking of these processes. Depending on what the scanner decides, the log will be directed to the relevant process. If a log needs turned, it is sent to the turntable. If a log has a butt, it is removed before the logs travel to the debarker. A butt is the widening of a trunk that is not necessary for the conversion process. The logs now travel through a second scanner which determine if the log needs to be rotated before travelling to the first set of bandsaws. The logs are pressed onto spikes that will hold them in position. No humans are involved in deciding how the log will be converted. It is fully computer generated. This ensures the most timber is converted from each log. This is known as optimization. Even at this early stage, the computer can determine the percentage of the log that will be converted into usable planks. Waste material from the conversion of timber in this sawmill is all sent along a vibrating table to a chipper. Chips are then sent to storage bins, ready for collection to be made into wood pellets. The logs are now fed through the first set of bandsaws. They remove the outside pieces from the log. These offcuts will go for further conversion. The log will now travel on its flat face to the next scanner which will determine the position of the next saw. As the log passes through the second set of bandsaws, two more offcuts are produced. They join the first set and travel for further conversion. A scanner determines how to cut each one of these pieces into usable timber. Now, it has optimized this piece and it has decided to saw it <coughs> along this path. The main 
main body of the log, known as the cant, now travels through the final set of bandsaws, converting the logs into planks. These planks will now make the journey to the cross-cut saws. The trimmer scanner examines each plank and decides where to cross cut each plank or if it still requires further conversion. The planks are now ready for sorting, which is all controlled by the information from the trimmer scanner. The planks are carried over a series of storage bins and are deposited into the relevant bin that contains planks of the same size. When the bin has enough planks to make a bale of timber, it is full and will self-empty the planks so they can be sent to be stacked into bales. The computer controls the storage bins and knows when the bin is empty and when it is ready for more planks. The computer will allocate it a specific plank size once again and the cycle will start over. The plank stacker is all automatic and will stack the planks in a perfectly formed bale ready for transportation from the sawmill. Each bale is labelled with the plank sizes and the standards it will meet. If the timber is to be seasoned, on site stickers are placed between the planks before they are sent to the compartment kiln.